So, let's connect the Spark core. I've gone ahead and connect the other end of the USB cable to my computer. This is going to provide power. And here's the Spark core, so let's get that connected. So, blue indicates that it needs the Wi-Fi point. Um, and it is actually designed to go with an app. Um, this is the Spark Core app that I've gone ahead and downloaded. So let's load that up. So we go to connect the core and I'll just put my password in there. You didn't really think I was going to give you my password, did you? Well, not today. It's one of those silly Telstra passwords anyway. If we go connect, you can see it stopped blinking, indicating something's happening. Green, definitely saying is happening. Okay, and now it says, name the core that is shouting rainbows at you. And I'll call it awesome. Okay, cool. And now we have it. So this is actually the same layout as the core itself. If I rotate it that way, it looks the same. Um, and I can see... I thought there was an LED on this. I can't quite see it. But I was pretty sure that there was an LED connected to one of these. Uh, digital right. Yes, there it is. There's a LED connected to Digital 7, and basically I've set it as a, an output, and if I set it high, it turns on. So that that's fairly impressive. <laughs> like, um, the connection was very easy to set up, um, and now for the programming, it's actually on the web. Um, we just go on to their, their IDE there, um, and let's have a look at that. 